Hey future millionaires! And welcome to today's free course all about how to start dropshipping. My name is Isabella and I am the owner of two six-figure earning online businesses. And today in this free course, I am going to be giving you everything you need to start your dropshipping journey. I will be sharing every single piece of knowledge that I have learned within the past 10 years in the e-commerce game in this single free course. It has never been easier to start an online dropshipping business with these new tools and methods that nobody else is talking about on YouTube. And I am so excited to share with you guys the most simplified method that is also effective so you can stop procrastinating and start your dropshipping journey today. There's way too many people on YouTube talking about dropshipping that really doesn't know the ins and outs of starting and running a successful dropshipping business. There are so many fake gurus in this industry selling thousands of dollars worth of courses, claiming they've done business models that they've never done. And you guys already know, I learned everything that I know today from watching YouTube videos and trying things myself. So I'm so thankful that I'm now able to contribute back into the educational space of YouTube. When I first started my dropshipping journey, I found ways to start with zero dollars. I never wanted to spend too much money upfront before I started making money. So I always factor in how to do the best things to get the best results possible all while also spending the least amount of money. I actually care about your pockets. With the world that's always changing with how online business is done, I knew I had to do a new updated free dropshipping course for you guys with all the updated best practices and methods that is detailed enough to where you can master the game of dropshipping and will have the knowledge and confidence to get started after watching this free course. The most important thing with anything in life is taking action and just getting started. The goal with this free course today is to help get you guys through the most tedious parts of starting a dropshipping business so you can put more time into the things that really matter, like marketing strategies and actually getting the sales. Make sure you watch all the way till the end of this free course because this free course doesn't just show you how to get started with vague information but specializes in how you can get the sales and grow your business long term. I will of course be sharing my own personal marketing strategies. So here's what you're gonna learn in today's free course. I will be going over how dropshipping works, how to start an online store, how to find winning products, and fast shipment suppliers, how to add products to your store, how to get a custom domain and connect it, how to fulfill and automate your orders, how to start marketing and getting sales right away without buying ads. I will also be doing a question and answer at the end of common questions that you guys have asked. And lastly, the mindset to win in online business. People do charge thousands of dollars for courses just like this. All I ask in return for the free education is just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses just like this. As you know, my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. Now let's get right into today's free course. So here's how dropshipping works for any beginners here. You find a product that you wanna sell, which I'll help you find today. You list it on your online store for a price higher than the supplier's price. So let's just say the product cost from your supplier is $10. Then the customer buys it from you for $60. Your supplier then ships that product to the customer and you keep the profits. I love this business model so much for beginners because this is a way that you can get your feet wet into e-commerce without making any big commitments like holding inventory or shipping things yourself. You can start drop shipping as a side hustle so no matter how busy you are in your life, you can have this online store and be running this business on the side. You can commit a couple of hours a day to this and grow it with the right strategies that I'm gonna be teaching you in this free course. So there's no excuses as to why you can't start. So we're gonna dive right into this free course and get your online store ready to go first. Now, there's tons of different website hosts that you can use for dropshipping, and I've tried a lot of them. But in order to have access to the best apps, Shopify really is gonna be your go-to on this. Now, if you do need to start with no money with zero dollars, go watch this free course that I have on my YouTube channel. And this free course will show you how to start with absolutely zero dollars. But I wanna make sure that I set you guys up for success. And not just quick money and quick success, but long-term success. So the first thing you're gonna do is click the link that I put at the top of the description box. I have also put it in the top comment. And once you click that link, it will bring you to this page. 
and make sure you use the link down in my description box below so you can get this promotion. Then just enter in your email address and click start free trial. It's gonna first just ask you to answer some of these questions, but you can just click skip all or just go through the questions. They really don't matter much. Then just click your country and click next. Then just finish the sign up process and it will bring you to this page. And right here is, is the Shopify dashboard. Now I am gonna be showing you how to fully design your store in this free course today. But before we do that, I do want you guys to have a winning product added to your online store first. This is the first key component to having a successful dropshipping store. So as you are looking for a product to sell, these are a few things that I want you guys to ask yourself. How is this product solving a problem and how entertaining is this product? Can you relate this product to your own life? How much content is actually being able to be created with this product? It's important for your online store to have a niche. And if you don't know what niche means, it means the theme or topic of what your brand is about. Here are the top niche categories to help you brainstorm. You can screenshot this or just remember to come back to the video if you're needing to brainstorm some more. Now, as you look at this list and brainstorm other ideas, I want you to pick a niche of something that you at least like or understand the target audience of. Just like for me, I'm not gonna sell a sports product because I know nothing about sports. I don't know who that target audience is. Therefore, that's just something I'm not going to do. Instead, I'm going to figure out, okay, what do I understand at least? I can at least like the product. So you're more encouraged to actually be proud of what you're selling and stand behind that business. Also, a huge benefit of picking a niche is you can add multiple products to your store in the same niche. Some people will tell you to make a general store, which I don't recommend. In my opinion, this just looks messy. It looks like an Amazon and you are not an Amazon, you are a brand. We want our online stores to look professional, branded and legitimate companies, not just a random general dropshipping store. So this is very important. Another tip to finding a winning product and this is something that I always talk about, is finding a product that you can market as a luxury product. Now, don't worry, we'll get to marketing later in this free course video, but you are able to charge so much more for a luxury product. So keep this in mind as you are searching for your winning product. So there's two ways to go about doing this. You can either search on platforms like AliExpress and try to find suppliers there, or you can use a one and all solution app, such as AutoDS. This platform AutoDS doesn't just help you find winning products to sell with fast shipment times, but it also helps you automate your entire dropshipping journey. It has a huge library of products to sell in your dropshipping store with fast shipment times, and that's what you really need. So again, for this part, I did put a link down in the description box below with another promotion that I found for you guys so you can get one month for free with AutoDS. So once you click that link in my description box, it will bring you to this page. Now we're going to create an account in order to activate this free trial. So to do this, just click on get started, then enter your email, full name and password, and then just click this button, join. Once you are done with that, it's going to take you directly to this screen, which will say, welcome to AutoDS. And as you can see, the first thing here, it says, let's add your store. So just click on add store. And the next question it's gonna ask you is what store are you starting? And we just opened up the Shopify store, so we're ready to go with this. So just connect the store that you just set up through here. It's then gonna take you directly to the Shopify app store where you're gonna see this. So just click install, then click login. And the store that you just made, you should see pop up here. So just click on the store that we just made together, then just click install app up here and it will be connected in seconds. Now you officially have the AutoDS platform connected with your Shopify store. So now that your store is connected, now we're gonna look for a winning product. And like I said, AutoDS is both a fulfillment center and a product research app, so we're able to do everything in here. There's three main product research sections that AutoDS has the marketplace, winning products, and TikTok Spy. The marketplace right here is where you can see that AutoDS has all the products available and they have a bunch of different categories here. You're able to narrow down your search and just do different things here, such as looking it up by country that it ships to, the price range, 
and the different categories. They also have this button called fast shipping. And if you click on this, it will show you the products with the fastest shipment times. And some of them are literally only a two day shipment time, which is absolutely insane. Every time I check this marketplace, it's always updated with new products too. And I have actually found out that they update this page on a daily basis. When you pull up the product that you're interested in, you can scroll down and you'll see here all the data that actually gives you insight on how to price the product. It shows you what the profit of the product is, who the target audience is, and even shows competitors that are selling it in their stores right now. They also have this feature called the TikTok Ad Spy right here underneath this. And this tool lets you see all the different ads that are being shown on TikTok right now. You can search something like TikTok made me buy it in the search box and other things that you want to look up through TikTok, and it will show you what products are trending and gives you inspiration for products that you can add into your store. Now, when you find a product that you like, another great thing to do is you can search for this product in Google and you can see that similar websites are charging high prices for this specific product, meaning that our profit margins will be good with it. I also like to sell products that can be sold all year round. I don't like to just chase trends and ride waves of things because again, we are building a long-term business here, not just making quick money. So now that we have a product that we know we can sell, market easily, and know that our profit margins will be high, here on the product listing on AutoDS, just click on import draft. Once you click on this, you're gonna see this that says item is being added to drafts. So once that's finished, come over here and click on drafts. And the reason why it drafts the product is it allows you to have a chance to customize it however you want before it's officially on your store. So to do this super easy, just click on this little button here, click to edit. So now that you're here, you're able to change the name of the product. You can set the selling price. You can choose the variants that you wanna sell and pick different pictures that you want imported into your store from the listing. Now, I do like to keep my product names as simple as possible and also to stand out from others. So let's just shorten the name here. And if you ever need help picking a name, you can always just look around on other websites and see what they picked for their name and generate some ideas for yourself. And don't be afraid to try out different names as well. And again, you can always change this later if you need to. So now that we're here, I know a lot of you guys always ask me about pricing your products. You kind of get stuck on this part. So let me just talk a little bit about it. I always recommend looking at your product listing, seeing how much it is from the supplier, and then marking that up two times. You can always do more if you need to, but this is usually the set standard. So if you take this price and you times it by two, that should be your price for the product. And again, you can always check out your other competitors for this product to reference as well. So once you're done getting your product listing ready to go, just click on save and import. And just like that, you've officially added your first product into your online store. So now that we have this winning product, now we're gonna name your store. If you need help picking a name for your business, you can use free websites like the businessnamegenerator.com or you could even ask AI at ChatGPT to generate different business name ideas for you according to your niche. I do not recommend choosing a name that is only about your product. Choose a name that can complement multiple products that are in the same niche. So we wouldn't wanna use the business name Red Rose Bears. We would want our name to be something more like Luxie Gifts or just something that we can build the business and expand on because this is only the beginning for you. And remember, like I said earlier, always think long-term. So for example, if you're using the business name generator, you can just type in any keyword here in the search box. So we can just type in luxury gifts and type generate a business or click generate a business name. You can just click decline skip, just give it a few seconds and it is generating business names for you right here. And you can see here, give you actually a lot of very unique names that we can use. You can always click generate more if you wanna see different ones. Not gonna lie, I actually kinda like this name Luxella, cause I'm thinking for our store right now, we're creating a store about luxury gifts and we could always call this Luxella Gifts. So you see how I'm just kind of looking at things and then just like playing around with them in my head, like kind of thinking like, would that have a good ring to it? And then we can go ahead and just use that name. 
One thing that I always do though, is I always go on Google and I'll actually type in the name right here and click search just to make sure that nobody's using that name. Obviously we see here that people are using Luxella Beauty, Luxella Exotics, but I don't see anybody using Luxella Gifts. Let's check it out. There's like one Instagram here, Luxella Gifts. Let me click on it and see. I always like to look through social media too, just to see if they're active. Cause sometimes people, you know, they'll start businesses and they won't stick with it. So let's just see when they're less. So this is obviously a very different business, even though they did take the at name, they don't actually have a website and it looks like they're in another country. So we'd probably be fine to use this name, but of course you can always play around with it a little bit. And another thing that we could do just to make sure that we would be like, you know, even better is you could just take one L out, search it again, and there's probably gonna be way less people using that. So there's lots of different ways that if you find a name you like, you can still use it, even if there's a similar business using it. Okay, so let's move along here. Now let's get to the fun part, which is finishing this online store and customizing it to make it look beautiful. So go back to your Shopify main page here, come over here and click online store, and then just click themes. You will see here, Shopify shows you free themes that you can use and the free themes are honestly awesome. You definitely don't have to use a paid one. There's no reason to do that. So just look through them and add the one that you want on your store just by clicking add. For this video, I'm just gonna go with this free theme that I actually have used before, which is scents. So just click on add and then it will install this theme right into your store. Now just click publish and click publish again. Now when you're here, just click on customize. And now let's go ahead and just play around with this. Click on this icon and then click colors, then click add scheme. And here you can play around with the colors just to see what looks good with your products and the vibe of your online store. Since we're making this more of a luxury store, I'm sticking more with black and white for a more classic look. I would say for most stores, it's really nice to have white, black, and then a nice accent color or like some sort of gradient color. So now let's build up the rest of the pages. So you guys see here are these different pages. We're gonna add a page here and I'll show you how to do that. So if you wanted to add an about me section or if you wanted to add a terms and conditions page, this is how you would do it. And before we go to this next step, you can see here that they have so many different things you can customize. So it's really a matter of just going through each one and just playing around with this and having fun with it until you find what you love the most. Also, don't take too much time on this and don't worry about it too much. I don't want you guys spending hours and hours obsessing over your online store. Just remember, it needs to look simple, clean, and professional. So if you go back to the main Shopify page under online store, and then click pages, it will bring you to this page. And one thing as a dropshipper that's very important is to add a shipping policies page. This is where you can put your terms about shipping. So if the supplier says it takes 10 days to ship the product, you are able to add it in this section here on your website. That way, when a customer places an order, if they happen to complain or ask you, you can always say, that the shipping terms and conditions were on your page. And by ordering with us, you agreed to those terms. So up here, just click on add page and type here at the top, shipping policy. Now, if you need help writing these pages, just go to chat GPT and just ask chat GPT, create me a shipping policy page for my online store and click this. Then you can literally just copy and paste this in, change up anything that you need to change and hit save. I love how it's formatted for you already too. Now just come down here to the navigation where it says main menu, click add menu item, and then you can add in your page here. Then just click save. Now you can see on our online store, we now have a shipping policy page, which just makes our store look so much more legitimate and trustworthy. And like I said, you can put your terms and conditions here also as well. Now that we have this ready to go and you just learned some skills of how to customize your online store, you can continue to play around and customize this store. And just remember, you can have the most beautiful website in the world, but if your marketing's not on point, you're not gonna get the sales. So spend more time towards the end of this video learning all about marketing next. Keep watching and don't worry, we're gonna be talking all about marketing very soon. As you're customizing things, just remember to keep your online store 
as simple as possible for customers to buy. I actually like to keep my product section close to the top of the homepage as possible so people don't have to scroll too much or jump through too many hoops to buy my products. Also, another important thing not to forget is go over here to this tab, Finances. Here you're gonna set up your payment options. And this is how you're gonna receive the money from your customer, so don't forget this part. Then in order to keep this store and publish it to make it go live, you do need to choose a plan for your store. So just click plan here, and they do have a few different options here. But as a beginner, just do the cheapest one. Now you'll enter in your credit card information here, hit continue, and now you can go live with this online store. Now I'm gonna show you how to get a custom domain for your online store. Now, as you guys can see, Shopify does give you a free domain that you can use. So you can start promoting this store right away. But once you are sure about the name for your business and you know you wanna keep this store long-term and looking more professional, getting a custom domain is what you need to do next. For example, Rihanna has rihanna.store for her merch store, Shopify uses shopify.com, and Behance is behance.net. Now, do you notice the endings of these links? That part that's like .com, .store, .net, is the domain name. It sets each one of these websites apart. I am personally creating all of my online stores with the dot store domain because I feel like it just makes the most sense from the customer's perspective. And I noticed even Mr. Beast, Cristiano Ronaldo, and a million other people are doing the same thing. So if you're in the online store game, the dot store definitely adds an extra flair to your online shop because your customers will immediately understand when they see the dot store, they're going to an online store. It also makes your store a lot more easier to actually find. And this also means that websites that end in dot .store get two times the visibility on Google. Just by using a dot .store domain, it gives you access to discounts up to $2,500 on even more e-commerce tools like Wix, ShipStation, Vistaprint, MailChimp, and so many more. And you can buy a dot .store domain from pretty much anywhere, but I actually did find a promotion for you guys. And for a limited time, you can get your dot .store domain for only 99 cents for the first year. I put this link in the description box below and you can use the code Isabella store when checking out. So let me show you how to actually get this domain and connect it to your online store. So after you click the link in my description, it will bring you to this page. Then just search for the custom domain you wanna get. Then it's gonna bring you to this page and show you all the different options for what you searched for. And don't worry, I know this shows a higher price here, but just remember I have that code for you guys. So we're gonna apply that towards the end. So just pick the one that you like and then click add to cart. I always like my domains as short as possible as well. Then just go ahead and click proceed. Then where the coupon code goes in, just type in Isabella store. And as you guys can see, you now have any domain that you want for 99 cents. Now you can just go down and click place order. And if you don't already have an account, you can just make one super quick here. And then when you're done, just click pay online. So now we have officially claimed and purchased our own domain. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect this domain to your online store. So to connect this domain, you're gonna click on settings here on the bottom left. You will click this right here called domains and this is the domain tab. Click connect existing domain. Then you're gonna put in the same domain you bought on dot store. Then just click next. Then it's actually gonna pull up this list of instructions right here that actually shows you every single step laid out. So if it helps you to read as you're following along, this is all there if you get stuck. But don't worry, I'm showing you step-by-step step right now anyways. So next, go back to the dot .store domains website, scroll over manage orders, click list slash search orders, then just click on your domain. Then once you're here, scroll to the bottom and click manage DNS. So once you're here, it'll probably say no address records found and that's what you're gonna see here. You're gonna use the A records tab and C name records tab to connect the domain. So you're gonna start here on this tab and click add a record. Then you're gonna add the Shopify IP address, which I'm going to put big on the screen here for you guys in case you need to refer back to this. Then once you're done, just click on add record. So for the C name, I need you to copy the free domain that Shopify gave you. So go to the C name records tab and click add C name record. Then you're going to paste that here. Make sure you put www here. Then we're gonna add a second C name record. So again, put www here and put shops.myshopify.com here. Then just click add record. 
So now go back to the Shopify's page and click verify connection. It can take up to 48 hours to connect, but if you see this, it's a good sign. If you get stuck, again, you can refer back to that Shopify step-by-step -step guide thing, or you can always reach out to any customer support for free help. I heard something weird lately that Shopify support can try to charge you to do stuff for you. Please don't do that. Whew. Now take a deep breath. We just added our custom domain to our online store. I know that was kind of a process to do, but now we have an amazing online store that has this custom domain, so it's looking even more professional. Now I'm gonna show you how to fulfill your dropshipping orders. So when a customer places an order on your website, this is how you're gonna automate everything. And you can do this all right now if you really want to, or you can save this free course by liking this video and come back to it once you start getting orders. So AutoDS does automate your orders for you and they provide the tracking updates and handles returns for your online store. So you can set it up all through AutoDS to where when a customer places an order on your online store, your supplier will ship that product straight to the buyer without any work on your end. So let me show you how to do this now. So just go back to your AutoDS account, go to settings, supplier settings, and you're able to control all fulfillment through here. If you click on orders, check mark automatic orders, and check mark also the process orders. And then up here, click this and then load balance in order to add money to the account whenever you need the money there or just whenever the customer places the order. And you can wait on doing this part until you start getting consistent orders, of course. So when somebody places an order, AutoDS will automatically fulfill that order through their system and that item will be on its way to the customer right away. So eventually this can be a fully functioning business model that you don't have to constantly be worried about manually going back and forth between AliExpress and your online store and like copy and pasting like the old ways. <laughs> like I know these apps cost money, but it is very worth it compared to all the work that you would have to do if you didn't have platforms like AutoDS. Now I'm gonna go over the five strategies to drive organic traffic to your business. Now with three out of five of these five ways to drive traffic to your business, three of these strategies, there's one extremely important skill that you must master, and that's short form content creation. And what I mean by this is the process of creating short vertical videos that are 10 to 15 seconds long. Now, you don't need to be some pro content creator or influencer to create these types of videos. I didn't even show my face with my online stores as I was growing them. As you can see here, these product related videos are getting millions of views across social media and are completely faceless. Bonus points to you if you wanna show your face and really be the face of your business, but it's 100% optional and I'll go over all the strategies today. Now, first I need you guys to understand this. Social media is not what it was five years ago. Five years ago, you either had followers or you didn't, and that was that. But we live in a different time now, and everyone has an equal chance to go viral and gain an audience. I have grown three different accounts across social media in three different niche types with three different content styles. So take it from me, it is not luck, it's 100% strategy. Let me break down my personal strategy of how I create this content. I personally create one piece of content, one video, and I then distribute that video and repost the same video to multiple social media platforms. So the first key platform you need to be taking advantage of to drive free traffic to your online store is Instagram. As of right now, Instagram Reels is pushing out users' content more than any other social media platform right now. Number two is TikTok. I personally have gained the most success with TikTok and we really have to owe it all to this platform. Since after TikTok hit the social media market and completely took over, the other platforms followed and even applied the same algorithm patterns. Number three, Facebook. Facebook is another social media site that a lot of people sleep on and don't realize the power behind it. Facebook has its own Reels section 
for short form content. And if you don't already have a Facebook page for your business, definitely create one. And this is, that's going to be under your personal account. You can grow your business through posting Facebook reels on the platform. And this can open you up to other opportunities for monetization, such as the reels bonus program, which I have personally made over $300,000 from and other programs like ads on reels which pays significantly higher than the Instagram ads on reels that we see nowadays. Why not get paid and make passive income just for promoting your own products? So not only can you grow your business, but you can also make passive income this way. Now, in order to maximize these three methods, I do recommend if you're doing drop shipping or print on demand, where a supplier is shipping your products for you, you need to order a sample of your product. Then once you have the sample, you can actually start creating videos with it. Although if you can't do that, the next two are alternative methods that I also use just by promoting your business with photos, but videos do work on these platforms too. So number four is Pinterest. Now here's why I love Pinterest. Pinterest is actually a search engine and posts live a lot longer on this platform than they do on other social media sites. These pins are also clickable. So when somebody sees your product, they can click through and shop with you right away. So how this works is say somebody is searching for gift ideas. You can add keywords to your Pinterest pin. So when people are searching for these specific things, your business and your products will pop right up. And don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you how to create these pins and post on Pinterest and create video content in this free course. These pins are very easy to make and repurposing your video content that you made for the other social media sites works very well here as well. So number five is Twitter. My first online business when I was just 16 years old, I fully maximized the business promoting just on Twitter. I guess it's called X now, so we should be calling this X. So Twitter slash X. This worked so well for me at the time because all I had was photos. We weren't even in this video era of social media yet. And it was extremely effective and converting for my online store because you're able to add links directly to the Twitter or X post. Meaning that when somebody sees something that they like, they could click on it and shop straight through your link right there. The new social media platform created by Instagram called Threads works in the same exact way. So before we get into creating this content and before I teach you how to master these skills of getting viral content and growing organically on social media, we first have to find your content style. You can see here that there are some small businesses that show their face and some don't. So you first have to decide how involved do you wanna be in your content? Do you wanna show your face? Do you want it to just be about the products? Or you could also do both. You can see this creator here, she loves to share her story of what she's doing behind the scenes as a small business owner. I love how she even includes her family as well. And just by her doing this, her customers feel like they are supporting her and her family Family, which definitely adds value to her whole business and social media presence. She really connects with her audience through her videos that she makes and has built an entire community around her business. She has specifically blown up so much because of this. And I love to see it. She found her content style and she replicated it in her own way. So not only does she show her products, but she sells her products through sharing her story, sharing struggles that she's going through as a small business owner, sharing how she creates the products. Or check out this account. You can see here that they don't even show their face, but they're getting millions of views, which is generating the same traffic to their online store. You can see here that this content is very simple. It just includes a video of the product with simple text font on the top of the video. One thing that you will notice about every single popular content creator is that they have a very specific style in how they create their content. A lot of times this is why they have so many followers because they found what worked for them and then they replicated that same style. Go to your favorite content creators account and you will notice the same exact pattern. Different posts, but same style in which they create but everybody is so different. So it's important for you to test out different types of content and experiment different content styles. Then once you find the content style that works for you and you see it's getting a lot of views and engagement, you can do the same thing. So in the beginning of your business journey, I want you guys to focus on trying different types of content out. It's gonna be a little crazy at first. You're gonna have to practice. You're not gonna see results right away. But that one viral post 
post that you're gonna get is the one that I promise you will change the way that you think about social media and even your own life. Because then you're gonna start seeing how you can achieve that and replicate it. And before you know it, you have an audience and you're growing your business and community around your business. If you're just spending that same time throwing thousands of dollars into ads, sure you might get a few sales, but then you have to continue to buy the ads to actually stabilize your business and grow it from there. If you are someone that you are stuck on wanting to buy ads and you really think it's gonna be beneficial to your business, I would recommend doing this same exact thing, creating the content, growing your social medias in the same way that I'm teaching you in this free course. Then once you get super viral posts that you feel confident in, then you can start to invest in ads at that point because you, then you know you have a good video. Even if you're buying ads, you still have to have a good video. You still have to have good content. Just because you buy the ad doesn't mean that your ad is gonna be successful. So I recommend everybody, whether you have a budget or not, start in this way. So now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna teach you exactly how I film, edit, and post content on all of these platforms that I just mentioned. And all you're gonna need is your phone. You don't need any fancy editing equipment. You don't need a crazy expensive camera. Stop making excuses as to why you can't start. Use whatever technology that you have right now. So I personally use iPhone. I think that they have the best camera, best quality, everything. And I have also heard that social media favors content that is created with an iPhone. I don't know if that's true, just something that I've heard. But for me, love using my iPhone to create content. So now that you have your phone ready, now you need to grab your product. Again, if you don't have a product sample yet, or if you just wanna sell products using photos that you have from your supplier or whatever you're doing, I will show you how to create content with that in the next section. So first, let me go over the settings that I use. So I use the 4K option at 60. So I will either use the 1X or I will use the 0.5. If I'm in a darker setting, like inside of a house, I'll always use the X1, but if I'm outside, I will use the 0.5 or the 1X depending on how it looks. Or actually sometimes I take both because I just like to have a wide range of videos to use. I'll show you the difference of how they look. So this is what it looks like with the 1X and this is what it looks like with the 0 0.5. So when I'm shooting the 0 0.5, I'll actually zoom in a little bit, like, or not zoom in, I'll actually like put it closer because then you can kind of just like see the product better and it just like looks really cool. I actually love the 0 0.5 better than the one on this, but it really just depends on your lighting situation. If you're in the 1X, you obviously have to put your product back, but see how I have it centered on the screen perfectly? I have a little bit of space between the product and I tried to center it as best as I could here. You have to remember where you're gonna put the text on the screen after we shoot the videos. Now, one thing is I do not wanna see you guys creating content in a dirty house. I don't wanna see you guys creating content of your products with a bunch of stuff behind you or in a dark lit room. You need to open your windows, allow natural light to come in, or if you don't have a house that has nice natural lights, then go outside and take some videos in the grass because lighting on social media is literally everything. Of course, you can take some really aesthetic videos if it's dark, but like if it's intentionally dark, but it should never be like dark and fuzzy. Even if you are in a dark space, as long as you have like good lighting or like cool lighting things, you can do that. And obviously like if you're selling certain products, like, you know, a light for your room obviously has to be dark, but you have to prioritize lighting in your content creation. So my process is I take a bunch of videos of my products, so then I have them saved on my phone, not in the TikTok app, not in any app. Although I do have a theory that if you do shoot content inside the TikTok app and post it, I do have a theory that they do boost it. So you can try that yourself as well. And TikTok, you can actually edit in TikTok itself. So you can do that if you want, but it is a little limited. Like I know you can't adjust the lighting once it's in TikTok. So it's just something to think about that if you wanna try it, you definitely can. So now I'm gonna show you the tutorial of how to edit these videos. So I actually picked somebody from the Baddies and Business Club to take their product videos and make content for them. So for example, like I said, this is someone that is in my community and I told him like, can you make like fake boogers? Can you like shove dirt into this stuff? So you can really show how well it cleans and like then, then you really get your viewers hooked like, oh my gosh, like who had headphones that dirty? Because that's the first clip. And people in the first two to three seconds, or not even two to three, one to three seconds of the video, they're deciding whether or not they're gonna stay on the video or not. 
if they watch the video all the way through, the algorithm boosts it. If they like the video, they share it with their friends or they save it or they comment, again, the algorithm boosts it even more. That's how you start generating more views and traffic on the actual video. So this community member, Fatalia, started a business selling these technology cleaners. So I wanted to use his product and videos for the tutorial so I could give him content that he could start using right away. If you haven't already joined the Baddies and Business community, you need to get in right now because we focus heavy on this topic of marketing and perfecting your content creation. I put a link for the Baddies and Business community in the description box as well. So if you haven't already joined, now's your chance. So let's get right into this tutorial. First thing you're gonna do is just click new project. You're gonna upload everything you want. The first thing that I actually wind up doing is I click aspect ratio and I click TikTok to make sure that it's sized right. Cause you see that this video is actually sized a little different cause um, he wrote, recorded this on a different kind of phone. I think like Galaxy or something, but I have an iPhone. So like it'll automatically do it for iPhone videos, but not for this. So first thing I do is just, I zoom in with my fingers and I just like, resize everything so let's find like the best view of this now i'm gonna find a dirty video of the headphones because we're basically this is a cleaning product and we want to show how like this item is dirty so let's like find a dirty shot of it like okay there you can see the dirt so let's use that one so I'm actually going to start the intro off like that. So we're going to show the problem in the beginning and then give the solution. So that's the psychology that we're using for this. So let's find the dirty, let's put the dirty product. So we're showing how this cleaner, this technology cleaner works. Now I like to keep these as short as quick and possible. So we're going to do it like that. And I honestly will just like rewatch it over and over again until I find like the best clip so like i'll even like shorten it like this and then we're gonna say then you need this product so i'm gonna say if you're dirty if you're if you're if your headphones are dirty like this then you need this product so let's like zoom in i like showing that little water thing okay and then I don't know if we had a video of him spraying it but if he did i just downloaded the ones that look the best to me but basically he did spray it first i just don't have the video but we'll just start it there it's not a big deal um and then he can always edit it in so then you're going to show your product in use in this part so you guys can see the products in use but this is very long so we're going to speed this up because we're going to try to keep this video between 10 to 15 seconds so like, you know, just show the parts that look aesthetic. So like the beginning where he's like cleaning the inside, look cool. I'm going to slow this down a little bit more because we don't want it to be like too hectic. Show him cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Okay. Um, I like the other, the last one we made, like we actually showed the dirt coming out and that was amazing. I'm going to tell him to like put dirt in these videos. <laughs> this is a member in our community, by the way. Um, okay, so like, let's just show how that works because I really love this thing. I think that's super cool. So let's like start it like this. And you guys see like a lot of times I'm just like watching it back to see, you know, what we're missing, like how it looks. So let's just drag this. We just want to show the essential parts of the video. So we're just showing how that works, how he can get in there. That's like a really cool feature. And then just show like, that part actually i kind of like that i might actually put that first yeah i'm actually gonna put that part first where he's like spreading it okay because we don't have to show the whole thing we're just going to show pieces parts so just so they understand how it works because if it's too long people are just going to click away they're going to be like what the heck like i'm not watching a tutorial here i just want to see if I should buy this product or not. So let's actually move this there. Let's watch it back. And I'm probably, I'm gonna of course shorten these two already. Like I'm already seeing like where I'm gonna shorten them. Okay. This is the end, like showing how clean it is. Okay, we got that one. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. 
like, and then we're going to say, makes your products like new. Done. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to start it with this one. So we're just going to imagine what it's going to say right now. Then you need this product. I'm going to show like all the features. Okay, so now we're going to add in the text. So let's add in this. So I always use this one or I'll use the classic font in TikTok. Sometimes I actually add my text in on TikTok because I feel like TikTok likes it when I do that and they boost my videos more. So we're going to put it like this. Um, if you... If your headphones are looking dirty, or actually I'm going to say, if you're, see, I'm just trying different things. You know what I'm saying? Until I find the best one. You know what? I'm putting this in on TikTok. It's just like kind of glitching right now. So I like, I think we're pretty good here. So I'm just going to put this straight into TikTok, like I said, because I don't like how it's glitching. It's just wasting my time. So we're going to click save and export to TikTok. Okay, now we're going to add the text. So just go to the editor right here. And we're going to start adding the text in. Headphone case is looking like this. I love that font the best. And then we're going to put like the puke emoji. Let's put the puke. Okay. If your headphone case is looking like this. Okay, let's try text to speech. Hopefully it's long enough. If your headphone case is looking like this. Headphone case is looking like this. We got it right on the spot. We didn't have to adjust it. This. Okay. You need this product. This. I need text to speech. And I like Jesse. You need this product. Looking like this. You need this product. I'm going to shorten this a little bit because we try to keep everything as short as possible. Like where, where the voice ends, we're going to just shorten it. This product. Um, I'm going to just speed it up. So split again, speed, speed Act. it up. Okay. It's better. If your headphone case is looking like this, you need this product. Let's add text, clean, clean. Okay, text to speech, Jesse. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Need this product. Clean, clean, clean. I'm going to just speed this up because you guys see that we didn't need like all of that, but I still want to show it. So we're going to speed up a little bit. Clean, clean, clean. Okay. looks awesome. Then we're going to, you know, pretend like we're the customer. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Let's put a funny emoji to humor ourselves. Then text to speech. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Let's just put the text down a little bit. There we go. This Notice is how I'm keeping all the text in literally the center of the video. My favorite part. That's because that's where people's eyes are. This is my favorite part. Okay, let's cut that. Literally like new. So now we're showing the finished product. 
I'm gonna keep it right there. Red part. You should like try to always have text on the screen. Favorite part. Time. And then text to speech. Jesse. Literally like literally like Nick. You guys see that this wasn't long enough, so you can just click the speed again, slow it down. Literally like new. There we go. Done. Okay, so just click next. Let's watch it. If your headphone case is looking like this, you need this product. Clean, clean, clean. This is my favorite part. Literally like new. Now see how the if words are your kind of a little case too big when we see them here. So I'm just going to actually just like resize them a little bit better. So like that one's like that. That one was fine. This one, see how it was like a little bit close to the edge. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. There. This one. Okay. That one's move it up a little bit. Okay. And then let's go back. If your headphone case is and looking like this, you, you need this, this product. Click save clean, right here. clean, clean. This is my favorite part. Literally like so new. So saving. So you're going to If your save headphone this case this is, is looking like this, you need this I product. I always will. Clean, a lot clean, of times I'll clean. put the text just like how I did in TikTok. This so is my I just favorite like this part. Better than CapCut font. Then just click next, delete that CapCut hashtag, and then put. All the dirty stop being or we could even say send this to your dirty friends so they can roast each other in the DMs and then you're gonna get more um, views because they're gonna send it to each other um, TikTok made me buy it TikTok finds technology problems, tech tips, or like you could just do whatever, like, like even like gamer, or I don't know, like anything that like has to do with like people that have electronics that need to be clean. If your headphone case so is looking like this, you is, need this so product. To watch this again. Clean. And obviously I'm not posting this on Batty and Business. It's just the quickest thing. So click on this. If your headphone case is looking like so this, you, you need this product. First, we have clean, the problem. Clean, clean, clean. the solution. We show the demo. This is my favorite ending, part. Where we solve the problem. Literally we like that nail. one TikTok. If your headphone case. So you guys can see a pattern with the video that we just made. It identified a problem. It showed the solution of what your product can do. And we showed the results of why somebody should buy the product. Now notice how we did this in a way that doesn't seem salesy. We didn't say shop with the link in my bio. We didn't say buy it now because if you say that stuff, TikTok and Instagram and social media platforms will not show it. So as you're creating this content, I really need you guys to think about the psychology behind the videos. You have to think, okay, what's gonna make somebody stop on this video? Like for the intro, show something crazy. So now that you have your content, let's talk about how you're gonna actually post it. So I always make and create content for TikTok specifically. I feel like content that does well on TikTok converts really well to the other social media platforms. So I always make content fitted for TikTok. One rule that I have is I always use the classic font. So when you upload your video to TikTok, I always use a very simple title and three to four hashtags. On Instagram, I will usually use the same title, but on Instagram, you're gonna use around 15 hashtags. And if you're a small business, don't just put small business, hashtag small business, no. You need to put hashtags that are relevant to your audience. If you can't figure out what that is, then you need to just go on and look at other businesses, see what other businesses are using that have viral content, and you're able to take inspiration and gain hashtag ideas from there. With Facebook, Facebook Reels is very similar to Instagram. So you're gonna use a simple title that catches attention with three to four hashtags. And by the way, guys, if you are someone where you're like, well, how are you even getting these ideas? I don't know where to even get ideas from. Like, I'm so lost. Social media is really about trends and like people always seem to like take something from somebody else and then do it in their own way. So if you need inspiration, check out the accounts that inspire you and you can create similar content except in your own way. Then you can really evaluate and see what's working or not for them and apply it to your own business marketing strategy. For example, this video that I made for a community member, 
I actually got inspiration from this video from this video, which is a completely different product, but I was able to take the same way that they made it to make it its own video. And this is how I get a lot of ideas for my own content. Then once you start becoming a content creator pro throughout all of this, you will start to have your own ideas as well that nobody else has done. And then that's how you're really gonna stand out and blow up. Now let's move on to how to create a Pinterest pin to market on Pinterest. So we're gonna actually go to Canva for this. So open your Canva app, or you can also do this on the computer. And you're just gonna type into the search on Pinterest, Pinterest pin. And you guys can see here that they have tons of templates that you can use, but we're gonna use this one. And you're just gonna fill in this section with whatever's relevant for you. So in this case, we're gonna talk about Valentine's Day gift ideas, or you could just put gift ideas for her or just whatever you want. You can make multiple of these. So just switch out all this text here for whatever you needed to say for your business. And it's super easy. You're just gonna switch out these pictures with your pictures. And I actually, I'm just gonna put a video here just to show you how this works. You can even make this into a video pin by just adding your video on it like this. Or you can actually just post your videos to Pinterest. So let's click on color because we want to make this a nicer vibe and just try out different colors just like what I'm doing here. I'm going for this more gradient tone because I feel like the gradient ones just look more professional. You want to make sure at the end of the day you're doing things that look good and that look aesthetic and not something that's just thrown together. And it might take you some practice to actually learn this, but I think it's fairly easy. And as you guys can see, we just made this pin in less than five minutes. So just go to your Pinterest, click new pen, upload this pin that we just made. And I'm gonna just type in here at the title, the best Valentine's Day gift ideas for your girl. In the description, put as many keywords as you can. So Valentine's Day gift ideas, rose bears. You can put shop now in the description here. They don't like, um, it doesn't give Pinterest a red flag or anything like that. Cause it's kind of what Pinterest is for is finding products and things like that. So then where it says to put the link, you're going to put your link right there and it's going to be clickable when we're done. Then just click on tag related topics here and you can actually type in a bunch of different things that are relevant to your product or post. So let's just do a couple of those and you can actually click on tag products right here underneath tag related topics. And you can actually tag your product directly through here with links. So say you have multiple products on the same pin, you can actually, people can just like tap on it and they can shop through the pin that way as well. So this is what our pin looks like. And you guys can see we finished this in less than five minutes. And if your customer clicks visit right here, they can shop directly through this pin to go to your online store. So these are my go-to methods. And at first, like I said, you're not gonna see results right away, but you have to keep trying different things, like I said, shifting around, trying different methods until you find what works for you. Again, if you are somebody that you feel like you need help with your marketing strategies or you're struggling to find the right content for you, join the Baddies Same Business community because we focus heavy on this specifically. I work with you guys to help you guys take action and perfect your content. So make sure you do join the VIP side because that's where I am every single day, giving you guys live feedback and helping you guys out one-on-one. -on -one. So I personally read through all of my comments on YouTube because I not only like to respond to you guys, but I like to see where you guys get stuck and just different things. And I always try to help out where I can. And very common questions I wanna answer in this video that again, not a lot of people talk about because a lot of these people have never actually done it themselves. So a lot of you guys have asked me, what's the legal side of starting a dropshipping store? Some of you guys have even asked me, is dropshipping legal? And yes, dropshipping is a legal business model. And again, this isn't legal advice, but I wanna share what I did when I first started. So when I first started my dropshipping business, I did not have that much money. And I also wasn't really sure if I was even gonna make money with my online store back then. So I just got started. I didn't have anything special. I didn't have a business license. I didn't have an LLC. I didn't have anything. <laughs> so you can technically start with nothing. <laughs> but again, this isn't legal advice. I'm just sharing what I did. But once I knew that I wanted to keep the business long term, and if you guys are more serious and you do take business more serious and you're probably thinking this girl is crazy, you can get an LLC, but 
The problem is, is I don't want to just like tell you guys, hurry up, get the LLC, do all this stuff, go to an accountant, do just make money first because there's so many little things and little puzzle pieces of things that you have to figure out obviously as a business owner. But if you spend hours stressing about all these little things, you are never gonna actually get started. And I've seen this time and time again, people will get so hung up and so caught up on like establishing these things and then all their energy is literally gone. So then by the time they start the business, they're just like exhausted. So I want you guys to focus first on getting started. Again, once I started making consistent money and I knew I wanted to keep the business long term, that's when I started talking to accountants, getting free consultations with legal professionals, all of those things. And you can also get free consultations with lawyers a lot of times and free consultations with accountants. So if these are things that you're worried about, again, I'm not an accountant, not a lawyer, so do some free consults with them. But I want you guys' head to be in the right place and I don't want you guys to get caught up on these little things in the beginning. So I hope this explanation helped. And with taxes, there are so many more benefits that you have as a business owner than I had when I was just working a nine to five job. So, so again, make the money first, then you will figure out these things. Another question that I get asked from you guys a lot is how do you handle returns and exchanges? with drop shipping. Now, I personally have never had a return or an exchange. And that's because I put it in my terms and conditions. If a customer was unhappy with their purchase, I tried my best to send out a free product or if a product arrived broken, for example, I just contact the supplier, I collect photos from the buyer. I say, you know, hey, send me photos. What's broken about it? What's the problem? I report that problem to the supplier. And nine times out of 10, all the suppliers that I have worked with have just shipped that product straight to the buyer. No problems, no questions asked. And they got their replacement. I didn't have to pay anything out of my pocket and everything was fine because I don't wanna worry about returns or exchanges or anything like that. Another common worry that a lot of you guys have is, well, is there gonna be receipts in the package? Or are they gonna know like how much I paid? No, usually drop shipping suppliers, again, 99% of them, especially if you're using AutoDS, they're specifically drop shipping suppliers. So they know the game. They understand that they are just a supplier. They're not a brand themselves. You are the brand. So there's no receipts in the orders. At least I've never seen one. And this is really something that you don't have to worry about. So you guys should congratulate yourselves. You made it all the way through this free course. The best thing that you can do to level up your life is gain the knowledge. And the fact that you're here right now gaining the knowledge is what's gonna now boost you to the next phase in your life and business. I want you guys to understand that nothing in this game is overnight. I did become a millionaire within two years when I restarted my entrepreneurship journey in 2020. But remember, I tried and failed a lot of different things before that. So even if you start a store and it doesn't go well, you have to see that as a lesson and see how you can come back even better the next time. And always just remember that we are in a generation now where it's never been easier to start a business. If you look 100 years ago, people had to go get a storefront, invest so much money to start a business of their own. Now we can start them straight from our phones, straight from our laptops. You're gonna get mad because one of your stores didn't work out. You have to keep this mindset and understand that everybody's timing is different. And even myself, I didn't know how to do any of this when I first started. I learned, I practiced, and I tried things over and over again until I saw the results. But the three things that I believe made me successful is my faith, the strategy behind everything that I did, and the consistency. The strategy you just got here in this free course and the consistency and faith is on you. Honestly, online business really has changed my life and I don't regret any of the time that I spent, even when I was getting frustrated and like, you know, getting mad at like all these things, for me, it's all worth it because I have achieved financial freedom in my life. And not only my life has been changed, but my family's life as well. It's just so crazy to me that we're able to build literal generational wealth off of these little online businesses, like boomers like to call them. But just know that I have felt everything that you are feeling right now. And if you have to rewatch this free course again and again, do it. Do whatever you have to do to learn and understand what you are learning. 
this is new knowledge and new information. So don't beat yourself up if you feel overwhelmed or if you feel like this is like out of reach or whatever it is. I feel like I'm successful because I just always kept going. I didn't let any of those feelings stop me from persisting. And you guys already know my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. I have tons of videos that you can continue to learn different ways to make money online so you don't have to only have a dropshipping store. There's so many other avenues that you guys can go in as well. But for me, dropshipping will always have a special place in my heart because it's one of the first online business models that I ever started. And it's really what got my online business journey going in the beginning. If you have any questions about anything in this free course, comment down below and I try to respond to as many comments as I can. I also started a club called Baddies and Business Club where I personally help you guys out and I'm with you guys on your journey with whatever you're doing to make money online. Definitely consider joining if you are having trouble taking the action or if you're stuck on getting the sales. Join the VIP side because we focus heavy on that specifically. It's been so fun to connect with you guys on a different level inside the club. And we do have calls multiple times a week to help you guys get on the right track as well. It's totally optional to join, but I wanted to create something that no one else has done before. And that's what we've done with the Baddies in Business Club. You guys already know I'm dedicated to 100% free education and courses here on YouTube. And all I ask in exchange for the free courses and education is hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses just like this. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well at Batty and Biz, Batty and B I Z for more business inspiration and updates. I hope you learned tons from today's free course, and I will see you guys in my next free course. Bye, everyone.